Hey guys, I uh, just wanted to make a quick video on how to set up a watch list in Weeble. So let's assume you've got your page laid out the way you want it and you don't have a watch list on it. Just go up to widget settings, go to general and then watch list and there it is. If So if you don't have one set up you need to link it to your groups. You see I have every group set to group one. Uh, and the reason why that is, is because if, if you don't do that and let's say, oh, I wanna look at, let me just move this down here for a second. I wanna look at Google or Amazon. You know, you see I click through these stocks and nothing up here changes because I don't have it linked to a group. So set as group one, uh, that's just because I have everything else set to group one. So you would set it to whatever group you're using. And now if I want to see Google, boom, there it is. Amazon. Uh, all these stocks, these aren't actually on my watch list. Those are just, I guess, the ones that are preset on Weeble when you pull up the watch list for the first time. So I have watch lists already set up. Um, this is my Monday watch list. And let's say you don't even have your watch list labeled or labels set up, you're gonna go over here to the star, which is kind of the main page for watch lists on Weeble. And this little thing that looks like a pencil, edit watch lists, click add watch list, name whatever you wanna name it. I have one named for every day of the week and then click save and you're done. Then when you go back to trade, you can, you're gonna see those names when you hit this little uh, down box. So today's Monday, I'm on the Monday watch list. And let me delete one of these and I'll show you how um, I set up my watch list each day. So when I open up Weeble in the morning, uh, and this morning it's like 20 minutes into the market open, I already traded uh, mostly in the pre-market, so I'm done for the day. But uh, let's say I open this up in the morning, uh, usually in the pre-market, that's when I start looking at it. And I go over here to markets and then in the pre-market or after market you want to be looking here at trends make sure that extended hours ranking is selected and then Weeble puts them in order and the greatest price increase so here Sava notice over here it says percent change that means that the price went up 115.66 percent in the pre-market so if you see something like that, you probably want to put it on your watch list. Doesn't mean you necessarily want to trade it, but you want to investigate further. So if let's say I see a stock that I want to put on my watch list, I go over here to the symbol name box. This is just like kind of the quickest and easiest way to do it. Type in Sava. You see the little blank star? That means it's not on any watch list. I click on that. Today's Monday. I want it on my Monday watch list. Click over here and it's on my Monday watch list. If I go to trade, you see it now, it popped up on my Monday watch list. And then um, the other thing I wanna talk about today is why you wanna have a watch list on your main trade page. Because I had a previous video where I didn't use that. I was using different tabs for each stock. And the problem with that is, is that it takes a long time for stocks to load and I, I originally thought oh well that's just because that's the way Weeble works it's a free broker and it's not that fast but that's not really the problem um, let me just pull up a random chart to show you what happens when you use different tabs so this is just like a default thing but it's still it'll get the point across when I go back to my page notice how long it's taking for the charts to load probably been five six seven now probably I mean that's like close to 10 seconds so if you're watching multiple stocks on the one minute chart and you've got a bunch of tabs loaded up here that's the way I used to do it when you're going from tab to tab you're gonna miss a ton of stuff and it's very frustrating it's very slow um, it's just not the way to do it so now I have my watch list set up and when you just click from, so instead of having the stocks up here, I just have them all on my watch list. And when I want to go from one stock to the next, I just click to the next stock. And it usually takes about a second for the page to load. 
So you could probably have six, eight, maybe 10 stocks on your watch list and click through all of those stocks within one minute candle or within a one minute candle forming. So that means you're gonna be able to take advantage of a lot more opportunities and miss out on, uh, or not miss out on so many opportunities. So that's it for today. Let me know if you have any questions or comments below. Uh, thanks for watching. And uh, if you wanna see more stuff about how to use Weeble, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.